Volcanoes. What is a volcano? The word volcano was derived from the Roman god of fire, Vulcan, which is an opening in the earth's crust through which molten lava, ash, and gases are ejected. A vent connects magma from with the earth's crust to the earth's surface. It includes the surrounding cone of erupted material. Magma reaching the surface, which is called lava. There are six types of volcanoes, a Vischer volcano, a shield volcano, a dome volcano, ash cinder volcano, composite volcano, and caldera volcano. A Fischer volcano is a crack in the Earth's crust, which measures many lo miles long. Magma erupts through the fissure and flows down the sides of the volcano in little rivers to form a gentle slope on each side. A shield volcano is built up of layers of lava that are released from repeated non-explosive eruptions. The lava spreads out over a wide area, creating a volcano with gently sloping sides. Dome volcanoes is a roughly circular mound shape. Dome volcanoes form when a lava blocks the vent. The lava cools then breaks apart. New lava covers the cooled lava, which is molten rock, which makes a dome shape. Ash cinder volcano is the volcano which is built up from layers of ash or tephra, which is volcanic cinders built up of solidified lava and bits of rocks. And when it erupts, it's with great explosive force. Composite volcano is developed from repeated explosive and non-explosive eruptions. Also, there are steep sided volcanoes composed of many layers of volcanic rocks, usually made from thick, sticky lava, ash, and rock debris. Caldera volcano is a bold shaped depression when a volcano collapses into the void left when its magma chamber is empty. Also, it is the highest when it comes to gas content, which is called rhyolite. Now that I've shown you all the different types of volcanoes, we're going to use our craft skills to make a volcano. This will help me know that you can distinguish all the different types of volcanoes and their shapes of the ones I just showed you. Not only will I show you the material you need to make one, but also give you the materials to create the reaction as well, so that you can get the experience firsthand of what a real volcano eruption looks like. Let's get started. We'll need to make, uh, get the materials to make the volcano which are newspaper, scissors, masking tape, plaster cloth, piece of cardboard, paint, paintbrush, and plastic bottle. To make the chemical reaction, you will need red and yellow food coloring, which is optional, two spoonful of baking soda, vinegar, liquid dishwashing soap, paper towels or towels, just in case there's a mess left afterwards. Now let's get started on making the volcano. The first step you will need to do is the piece of cardboard, which will be the base of the volcano. You want to tape the plastic bottle in the center and make sure it's nice and steady. Second step is to make newspaper balls and tape them all around the plastic bottle, including the base. Now for the third step, you want to cut the plastic cloth and get it nice and wet and put it not only on the newspaper but around the bottle as well. Now that you're finished with that, you wanna let it dry. After you know that it's nice and dry, you get your paintbrush and your paint and start to paint it. Before we start doing the chemical reaction, you want to make sure that the paint is dried on your volcano. First thing that you want to put in your volcano is two spoons of baking soda in the plastic container. Then you want to add a spoonful of dishwashing soap. After that, you want to add about five drops each of the red and yellow food coloring. After all that, 
you finally put the vinegar in the bottle container and watch your volcano come to life.